thank you for joining us today. My name is Kathy Potter and I'm the member relations director for the Lubbock Chamber of Commerce. And I'm excited to be here today with Dr. Jordan Jensen. He is our January ambassador of the month and he is from Blair Chiropractic Clinic. So Dr. Jensen, thank you so much for supporting the chamber so much um, in January. And so tell us a little bit about Blair Chiropractic Clinic. Blair Chiropractic Clinic is actually a local-based clinic. It's kind of unique in that fashion. Uh, way back in the day, late 1800s, chiropractic was just getting its launch. Uh, B.J. Palmer was the first upper neck guy, and Dr. Blair learned directly from him. Dr. Blair's claim to fame was trying to study the bones in your body and try to see how the joints are shaped. Evidently, the right side and the left side on almost everybody does not line up. So he was trying to learn the best way to measure that and try to figure out the best way to adjust your unique self. So he's essentially creating an adjustment just for you. He opened his clinic in the late 1940s, and it's been here in Lubbock ever since. And we continue to carry on his work, do research to try to figure out how to do it better and try to adjust that with as much specificity and as gentle as we possibly can. And so what made you want to be an ambassador for the chamber? Uh, with the ambassadors, uh, the first two things people told me to join uh, was uh, Master Networks. And then the second one was you have to become an ambassador with the chamber. And so I uh, joined. I, it was only 20 bucks. So I figured, you know, couldn't hurt. Uh, since joining the chamber, what's encouraging is uh, being able to meet other people in the chamber is probably the biggest strength where I, you know, Greg Rodriguez, I'm a part of his team now acquiring points for the team and whatnot. And you can, we got a whole group thing together on social media where we frequently reach out to each other to figure out uh, what we're going to do. Uh, building those relationships is absolutely positive when trying to build uh, business. Uh, so that's for the first big streak. The second one is pretty much this interview in and of itself, winning uh, the January ambassador of the month and getting a nice little plug to tell people about what I love doing. Yeah, absolutely. So the way Dr. Jensen won is we have a campaign going um, to shop local anywhere in Lubbock. Um, posted on your social media with the hashtag LBK Local Challenge. And he has done that every day, consistently, everywhere he's gone. So we appreciate you supporting the chamber so much like that. Tell me what you think is important about the chamber's role in our community. You touched on that kind of a little bit just with your relationships, but what do you think is important about our role? Uh, it's getting people to know about the businesses that are here at local in Lubbock, uh, first off. Uh, it's... Uh, I got here uh, about six months ago. I mean, nobody knew who I was other than the guy that hired me. And it's like, how do I go out and meet people? How do I get involved? Uh, Ambassadors is an affordable, uh, excellent way to get in and get your name out uh, for the first step. But then the second one I'm going to reemphasize is uh, relationships, relationships, relationships. You get the opportunity and they put you with groups to be able to reach out and say, hey, I'm going to go grab lunch here. You want to come with me? We can get some points. We can get to know each other. And then people will take you up on that. And then, you know, just slowly but surely you're going to, your friend base is going to go up. But as your friend base goes up, that trust goes up. As the trust goes up, you have access to a whole array of numbers on their phones and all sorts of things. And you become the guy, the go-to guy. So in my case, you know, I want to be the go-to chiropractor. Anyone that's spent time with me and we've built a relationship with is that opportunity for me to uh, serve in that uh, capacity because that trust is set. Yeah. I love that. And so you feel like you've still found um, those kind of values, just even having to be here during the crazy year that 2020 was. Oh yeah. It was a, uh... It took some time. I didn't quite know what exactly I was getting into until about, uh, it was probably about three months in when I think I finally did the uh, luncheon and the orientation. And I was like, okay, so this is what I got to be doing. And then at the start of this year, well, December, I went to the orientation again and then realized, oh, points, we got to get some business going. So going out to eat all the time, uh, uh, pulling in everything I'm invested with already. Today, I posted about the uh, Southwest Aqu Aqua Sports. I go swimming every morning. And so it's just like, yeah, that'll fit it just fine. And so yeah. you get people knowing about what's out there and the services and you can talk about whatever plug you want on social media. So really yeah. cool yeah. system. Absolutely. So what is the best advice you've ever received, either professionally or personally, that you would like to share with everyone? Uh in Master Networks, uh, one thing that's emphasized is the bond method. 
almost frequently. Uh, we uh, try to build those relationships and then we're looking for, you know, opportunities to, uh, uh, serve one another with that. Uh, and then we're, you know, just spending more and more time with each other to be able to, you know, lay the groundwork for possibly doing business together, you know, whether it's, you know, in a business relationship or uh, knowing exactly what the other person does and being a referral for them when you come across the person that needs it. That's been the model set in stone that's been helping me quite a bit. And I still implement it immensely to try to bring people from all the different networking groups that I'm a part of now to one spot and continue to build community and figure out, okay, how can we help each other? Can I work, do business with this person? Do I have, do I know a guy that needs a chiropractor, this and that? And it's just, you know, again, relationships, relationships, relationships. For sure. So what is your favorite meal? My favorite meal is pizza. I hate making it. If I can make it at home, I don't like going out to eat for it. Uh, pizza is one of those dishes I've made before. I absolutely loathe it. I will never do it again, but I absolutely love, <laughs> love pizza. And what about your favorite movie? Hot Rod, hands down. That's a movie that captures my childhood, the 80s, uh, it all encompassing and referencing to a number of different movies in this kind of absurd comedy way. But it's one of those movies that just the more you watch it, it keeps on giving and you keep on catching little references and stuff. And I have not been able to not laugh at that movie for as long as I've watched it. I've probably seen it at least 25 times. That's funny. So last but not least, what is a snapshot of something that brings you true joy? A snapshot of something in your life every day that brings you true joy. My mom, <laughs> I, uh, uh, I love my mom immensely. Uh, I, uh, did taking a Catholic class right now. And we uh, got a part of a lesson where uh, we were learning about St. Augustine and evidently he was a bit of a wild child growing up. Uh, he, uh, his mom though is uh, a saint I'd never heard of though. And what her claim to fame was while he was kind of going through those phases of just kind of, you know, uh, flying with the wind and just, you know, living on the seat of, on the edge and whatnot. Uh, she's constantly praying for him and constantly, you know, uh, you know, begging that, you know, God will, you know, open his heart to him and, you know, that he'd see the light. Uh, whereas like, uh, this is something that's true to me just in a sense, not saying I'm perfect or anything, but, uh, my mom has been the person that, uh, she's, she keeps praying for me <laughs> and she hasn't ceased since the day I was born and has been overly patient. It has done immense things to try to kind of just help me uh, go through each transition in life and build and grow to the next level. So my mom's the snapshot of light. I'm nothing without my mom. Moms are awesome. I love, I love that. That's so best, sweet. <laughs> best job and most important job in the That's world. That's so sweet. So tell us um, the best way as we wrap up here, what's the best way to get a hold of you? What's your website, your email address, and your phone number? Gotcha, gotcha. Uh, let me mention a few. So uh, best website would probably be www.blairclinic.com. Uh, you can actually make appointments on the website. So that'd be the best place to just be able to set up for an appointment yourself. Uh, other than that, number to reach us at would be 806 747 Two seven three five. Uh, the front desk is open Tuesday, uh, Wednesday, and Friday, and you can make an appointment that way uh, with the clinic. Look us up on Facebook. Just type in Blair Chiropractic Clinic. We'll be the first one on top. We appreciate a like to the page, but you also get a wave of uh, information, uh, YouTube videos, and just cool stuff uh, relating to your upper neck and just how powerful it is, whether uh, fixing a headache up top uh, or you know doing well with the neck or covering even all the way down to the low back and the feet. Uh, we've seen adjustments up here, help people in places that we, you know, a lot of people don't expect. Well, awesome. Thank you again for being so supportive of the chamber. Thank you for always posting on your social media. We appreciate you and we will see you guys next month. Gotcha. Gotcha. Thank you so much, Kathy, for the opportunity.